You know, the silencer is not the first piece of physical evidence that jurors have heard about. Prior to today, for example, prosecutors have talked at length about spent shell casings found at a home that the Wagners once lived in and at certain crime scenes. But now there is another piece of what can easily be described as a very big puzzle. Just weeks before George Wagner, his brother Jake, and their parents Billy and Angela Wagner were arrested in the fall of 2018, a dive expert from Columbus was fully submerged in this hole filled with black water. It was, it looked like just a, a muck mess, and by the time we were all said and done, it was approximately, I'd say, 15 feet deep. The hole, or cistern, was inside a barn on property George, Jake, and Angela Wagner called home before and after they allegedly executed a plan to kill eight members of the Roden family. Today, during George Wagner's murder trial, dive expert Sean Floyd described finding a key piece of evidence. We found multiple different things from wire, bottles, uh, animal remains, as well as a met metallic or metal cylinder object. Prosecutors then asked James Barlow, a firearms expert with the ATF, what the cylindrical object was. That was a, at one point in time, it was a complete silencer. Silencers quiet the noise heard when a gun goes off. Before hearing testimony about that item, jurors heard from Ohio BCI forensic accountant Michael Kazar, who did a deep dive into the Wagner family finances. But we're talking tens of thousands of pages of bank statements, uh, credit card receipts. Kazar discovered the Wagners, including George, transferred more than $100,000 amongst themselves. Frequent transfers of money, sharing of funds, sharing of expenditures shows that uh, even though accounts may be in separate names, what you might be seeing is that they're working as a coordinated group. Now, the suggestion that the Wagners were, quote, working as a coordinated group really is key to the state's case against George Wagner. His attorneys claim that George didn't want to have anything to do with his family, but the financial records revealed today certainly suggest otherwise. Reporting live tonight here in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News.